Today. My name is Kayla. My name is Lotlo. And it's going to be great. Who's excited for their view party today? I am. Woo! Woo! So don't forget, guys, your view party now is your family. So your mommies, your daddies, your aunties, your uncles, grandpas, grandpas um, dogs and cats, and the bird outside. Of course. Of course. So for view kids, we're going to teach our families how we do it. Okay. Woo! So make sure you have a notebook, a pen, and your Bible, because we're going to learn a lot today. So the first thing we learn of you kids is our God rules. So it's give attention, obey your leader, and don't disturb. It's still view kids even though you're at home. So you must give attention to us when we're on screen. You must obey your mom and dad, and you mustn't disturb your view party. It's going to be good. Now, let's talk about offering. Everyone shout offering. Offering! We give 10% because God gave us 100%. So if you have offering, give it to your mom and dad, and they'll give it to Jesus when they do offering. Awesome, guys. So if you kids believe in a big vision, we believe in God, friendship, purpose. If you kids believe that we need to have a great and strong relationship with God, we believe that we must have great godly friendships at you kids, and we also believe that our purpose is to tell everybody about Jesus. And the last part of our vision is we get to build this nation. And you're probably wondering, how do you build your nation when you're at home? Let's pray for our country. South Africa's got a great future, and I'm so excited to be a part of it. View kids, we have a huge announcement. It's our Easter party! Woo! We are so excited for Easter. View kids will be happening on Friday and on Sunday. So invite all your friends to watch our View Kids View Party this Easter. Now, View Kids, this is my favorite part. It's praise and worship. So get on your feet. Let's go. Hey, View Kids, are you guys ready to praise and worship? I love it. Let's go.
Cause am I living it? Do I live in it? So astounding. Love is an ocean, you can drown me. The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste and see. I'm under grace, the place to be. It means I'll never need an umbrella. I'm cool in the cold, in the hot weather. Whether or never I ever understand I'm a man in the hands of great plans. I stand with faith and a life I never known to touch. And still I saw my clutch, but I'm like, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? Live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? And live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. Yeah. So we're going to get into a moment of worship now. And the first song that we're going to sing is Raise a Hallelujah. And what Hallelujah means, it's the highest praise that we can give to God. So when we sing, let's sing as loud as we can to praise God. Praise God. Praise a Hallelujah. Hallelujah 
Everyone close your eyes. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us grace, God. God, I just pray that we can raise our hallelujahs to you, God. Everywhere we go, in our schools, in our fam to our families and our friends. And I pray this in your name. Amen. Hey, guys, so we're going to get into our teaching now. Make sure you have your Bibles, your pens, and, and your notebooks ready. Hey, View Kids. So like Sabelo said, we're going into our teaching now. Come on, it's going to be amazing. So make sure you have your notebooks, your Bibles, and your pens, because we're going to learn a lot today. We're starting a new curriculum called Unlikely Heroes. Yeah. It's going to be exploring amazing heroes throughout God's Word. So guys, what do you think is a hero? What do you think actually in today's world, what do you think a hero is? I think it's someone that's brave for Jesus. Someone who's brave for Jesus? Okay, cool. So we can all be heroes because we can all be brave for Jesus. So today's teaching, we're learning about Joshua and how Joshua had courage in very, very hard times. So we're going to start all the way back to when Moses started the story. So who knows Moses? Put up your hand. We've all heard the story of Moses and the amazing things he did now he was a hero. So Moses set the Israelites free from Egypt, from slavery. So after that, they were wandering the desert for many, many years. And then Moses got a word from God that there is a promised land for them. A, a place where apparently they had milk and honey. So I think in today's standards, they had Netflix, they had Xbox, they had chips, they had chocolate, they had amazing things. And the best part, God's presence was there. So everyone wanted to be there. They were so excited. So Moses sent 12 spies into this land because there were people that were living there and they had to check, was this our land? Is it safe? Is it the best place for the rest of the Israelites? So the 12 spies went there and when they went there, there were giants and there was so much stuff going on. So meaning like giants like Matthew giants. Matthew giants, and we all love Matthew, but Matthew side giants. Okay, so they were there, and they were ruling this land. So out of the 12 spies, 10 of them were like, bad idea, we should never go there. And I kind of think, I understand, because it must have been really scary. But then there were two. Say, so then there were two. Then there were two. Caleb and Joshua, they saw what God could do in that land, and they had courage. So when they went back to Moses, the 12 spies told them what they thought. Ten of them said, mm -mm, bad idea. But then there were two, and they said, we should go. But unfortunately, because not everyone had the same idea, Moses and the Israelites decided we rather, they rather shouldn't. So then they spent many more years in the desert. But now let's think about it like this. Now imagine who's ever been on a road trip. I've driven 17 hours to Durban. Real story, I know. It's, I never want to do it again. So it's like that. You're on a road trip with your family and you're driving to maybe Joburg or Durban or somewhere away. And your mom's like, okay, cool, guys. 10 more minutes and then we're at our destination where there's a pool and a garden where you can play soccer and there's lots of fun things to do. And then 10 minutes go by and 20 minutes go by and you're like thinking, what's happening? And then you find out that the, the place isn't ready yet. They haven't cleaned everything up yet. And then you start to drive for two more hours. I know. Now imagine how the Israelites felt. They got told they had this amazing promised land for them. But then it didn't work out. And then they had to wander the desert for even longer. Now imagine how sad they must have felt. But Joshua still had courage. So many years later, when Moses was already old, Joshua, God told Joshua, go back to the promised land. So Joshua and an army went back to Jericho, and they walked around the walls for seven times. And on the last day, they walked around the wall seven more times. And on that last time, the walls crumbled. 
And the most amazing thing happened. Joshua and the army, Joshua and the army defeated the, the people in that land. And they got the promised land. I know. So what I want you guys to learn from this story is that even in times that seem really long and seem really scary, we should have courage. Joshua was an unlikely hero. He was just someone who obeyed God and listened to God, and he had courage. And through Joshua's courage, he was able to get the Israelites into the promised land. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Let's pray. God, I thank you for today. God, I thank you, Lord, that we will have courage. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. So now, Lucanio has three questions for you to discuss in your view parties. Hey guys, so I've got three questions to ask you guys. Question number one, can everyday normal people be heroes? Can they? Question number two, how can I have courage? And question number three, how do I show courage? Awesome guys, so you can have two minutes in your view parties to discuss those questions. See you now. Praise on, praise on, praise on, praise on, praise on, praise. All that is within me now, bless his name. Got a billion reasons I can celebrate. My God is great. My God is great. Praise on, praise on, praise on, praise on, praise on, praise since you call me out, my life has changed. Now I am forgiven and my soul is saved. I know I'm saved. It's by your grace. so excited. We hope you guys had the best time chatting to your view parties. So Lacanio is going to chat to you guys about our bottom line. Oh yeah, our bottom line for this week is super easy and I like it a lot. Do you guys mind doing it with me? Yeah. Let's show these kids how it's done. It's super simple. It's just heroes have courage. Simple as that. Let's try it all together. One, two, three. Heroes have courage. That's awesome, guys. You guys are super amazing. Let's do it. Just dance and have some fun. What are you doing? Stand up. Let's go. Woohoo!
job guys who's feeling tired not me not i'm not feeling tired I'm good. at all we hope you had the best time ever at vkids oh, today oh yeah hey guys and don't forget the bottom line and the questions cuz they're going to help you remember the teaching for this week come on if you have the craft available you can get that ready now and if you okay. don't carry on chatting to your view parties about how you can have courage let's pray God, I thank you for today. God, I thank you, Lord, that you are here and that we can be our very own heroes and be heroes for our community because we can have courage. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. See you guys next week. Next week.